Jalela Terra Vineyards in Muncie. It's all about tradition, family, and of course, the wine. Let's check it out. Salut! I'd like to introduce you to Michael Jalela of Jalela Terra Vineyard and Winery. And Michael, thanks for having us. Well, thank you for coming. This is exciting because we're not only going to take a look at your wine, taste your wines, but you make really nice little small plates for small folks, plates, right? Yes. So you're going to make something fun for us before we start tasting. What are we doing? Well, this is uh, our most popular small plate. This is called Tostados. And what we use is pesto. Okay shredded cheese mm -hmm. and salsa and we uh, put it in a microwave heat it up for about a minute and a quarter mm -hmm. and it comes out beautiful and it's very very tasty i love it so let's just put one together and show everybody sure. how it's done so we put that on lightly you don't want too much otherwise it'll overpower but right now what we do is mm -hmm. put the cheese Mm -hmm. When folks visit, you could actually tell them what wines would go best with these foods, right? Exactly. So they can really enjoy the whole experience. We always try to do that. People really like that, to know exactly what wines will go better with our small plates, and we try and do that. And now we're going to put a little salsa. Okay. It also adds a lot of color, too, doesn't color, it? It's yeah. just fun. Green, yellow, and mm -hmm. red. All right, that looks terrific. So what's the next step? Well, the next step, we bring it into our kitchen and put it in a microwave for a minute and a, and a quarter. This is the results, Jackie. Wow, these look so good, that oh. cheese, mm, good stuff. Oh, it's great. And what we're gonna do now is to pair some of the wines that we offer. Okay. And that we make here at Joel Terra Vineyard. Great. And I think we should start with getting a glass because that's the only way to drink wine it's, is by glass, not plastic. Nice. So nice. Let's, okay. why don't you pay out your glass? All right, I this have is mine. interesting. My daughter came up with the idea uh, when it was COVID. We supply people with the glasses. We charge them $2 a piece. Mm -hmm. That's their glass. They take it home with them. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yes. All right, I'm picking this. This beautiful one here. Oh, called that etched. is very nice. It's got grapes very on it. Nice. Looks very pretty. Okay, cool. All right. So I think what we'll do is start with a dry red wine. All right. We call it Justo. A good friend of ours just passed away. He was a Spaniard. This is a Spanish grape, Tempanillo, and we named it after our friend Justo. So oh, that's I hope a nice you honor. Enjoy. It's very crisp, a little fruity. I like the dryness, it's not too dry. Not too dry. Um, lovely, lovely wine. And it wine. goes really well with this. Would you like to try Absolutely. it? Absolutely, let's, Please let's help go for Take... it. Are you gonna join me? I will. All right, sounds good. Oh, that's yummy. Oh, that's yummy. Mmm. A pesto sauce is good with the cheese. Now taste mm. the sip of the wine. Okay. Oh. That's so good. It really changes it a bit, doesn't it? It really does. With the food? It brings, out, it brings out the flavor of the food. Ooh, totally. And even the wine it actually comes out. hits you. Yeah. Oh, this is great selection. Michael, thank you so much. This was so much fun. Oh, thank you for coming. And uh, we really want to show you our other small plates. And okay. my wife, Claudine, will introduce you to the various food plates that we have with our wines. Terrific. Thanks again. Thank you. So we're going to be starting with the Cabernet Sauvignon, mm -hmm. and this is a nice dry Cabernet, and it is unoaked. And we're pairing this today with the pretzel, and the pretzel is a New York-style soft pretzel that's served hot here at the vineyard, and we have honey mustard and also some cheese. Would you like Very to try nice. some, Jackie? Absolutely. Now mm, to take well. a little sip of your wine. Mm -hmm. well, that's good. You know what? It's very full-bodied. It is. It's mm -hmm. a full-bodied red, and mm. uh, it goes well with the pretzel that's very dry very and salty. Good. And so you find when you're pairing food and wine, the wine complements the food, and the food complements the wine. 
Yeah, right, what's next? Okay, we're gonna go with our gourmet cheese board now, Jackie. Right. And this is a compilation of cheeses. You have a choice of two cheeses and some other accoutrements like tomatoes and nuts and olives. We have today the Chardonnay and also the Moscato, which is the sweeter version. The Chardonnay is unoaked and it has a buttery finish. Interesting. Okay. So what I'd like you to do is to take a sip and you notice the buttery finish? Very much. Yeah, and it's unoaked, so it's straightforward. Yeah. Now cheese, select maybe? a piece of cheese. Okay, and what kind of cheese do we have here? This is a cheddar, oh. and this is a Monterey. Oh, that's very nice on the palate. It doesn't it improve the taste Very of both much. the cheese oh. and the wine. It brings it right out. Very good, excellent, excellent choice. Here we're going to be tasting grandpa's wine <laughs> with the antipasto plate, very appropriate. Grandpa's wine is wine the way my grandfather used to make oh, it. Oh, I love it. There isn't any yeast added to this wine and there are absolutely no sulfites added. So this is paired very nicely with the antipasto because it's hearty. Okay. Now, if you were a sweet wine drinker, you would drink the Rosa Ole. And the Rosa Ole is a red sangria. So that's also a nice pairing with an antipasto board because of the spices involved. I'm gonna have to go with the grandpa's uh, okay. wine here. Okay. I don't know, just because I just think it evokes a nice thought. Okay, <laughs> well I'd be curious to your reaction because it is just a very natural wine. This is made from our Chamberson grapes that we grow here. It's nice, it's, you know what, it's homey. You know, there's so many neighbors uh, that I know that make wine for my family over the years and send it over, and this is what it is. It goes great with the salami. I see, the salami kind of cuts the acidity of the wine, and uh, it really brings out the true flavor of the wine. Sunday dinner, no bones, no fuss, no muss. That's but right. It's good stuff. Uh, thank you, thank <laughs> Very you. Nice. Claudine and Michael, before we wrap up, I'd like for everyone to know a little bit more about your heritage because you have heritage that goes back to Italy and of course, Vintner heritage as well. Right, right. So my grandfather and grandmother came from a little town called Tito. It's in South Central Italy and my grandfather's family was responsible for providing the wine for the town. So they had a vineyard and a winery, and then when the Blythe hit in the 1800s, the grapes were destroyed, so the wine industry was nil. So my grandfather decided to come with his bride, my grandmother, she was 16 years old, and they came to America to start a new life. So Michael, could you tell us a little bit more about Jalala Terra? We've been in business now since 2020. Our business model was based on education, basically. And what we have here today is a wine school. And what we do, I grow about three acres of grapes, and they come in, they pick, they destem, they ferment, they crush, they ferment the wine, and they love it. They love it. Sounds great. Matter of fact, they make jokes. We charge them, and yet they do all the work. You know? <laughs> what hey, can you say? But all it's good great. things take a lot of work, right? That's right. right? That's right. We're located in Muncie, 411 Gardner Road, Muncie, Pennsylvania. We're open on Saturdays and Sundays from 2 to 5, but we also open on Fridays for special occasions also. I do have pizza night and it's usually on a Friday. We also do special occasions. We do have tented weddings. We have venue for a small wedding. The best way to get in touch with us is to call us if you'd like to make a reservation to come out and visit. We don't demand that you make a reservation, but it is helpful to us if you make a reservation. We wouldn't want you to be disappointed if you couldn't fit in the tasting room and you came all the way out here. So you just call 570-546-9315 and we'll be happy to take your call and your reservation. Once again, we're Jalela Terra Vineyard and our website is jalelaterravineyard.com. We also are on Facebook and we do advertise some of our events on Facebook. So you keep up to date with us on Facebook. Terrific. Thank you so much again, oh, Michael and you. Claudine. Jackie, we had such you. a terrific time. And, and let's uh, do a toast to Jalela Terra, the Jalela family, and of course to your family as well. Chin chin. Chin chin. Chin chin. Salud. Salud. Thank you.